you know we're just kicking it tonight welcome welcome we're gonna we're gonna give it a second hope everyone's having a fantastic night. hit that like button it's gonna be crazy Skipped last week. Skipped last week because of Blade Show West. I gotta show you guys all this new stuff that we got. Not we. Balin isn't with me, but all the stuff I got. Balin, you know, we're, we're we're doing an entire gear haul drop. But for those of you guys that are joining in right now, you'll get a you'll be able to see all this dope shit that we got. Okay. Okay, we got the nameless one. What's up? What's up? Dark Knight, Brandon. How's it going? Gage, data crew. Speaking of data crew, repping their shirt right here. Um, Y'all's here. MC now this sweet Friday lineup is MC all done. Maybe. Um, Let's see. Darren says, where's Rob Nice? I, I don't know, dude. I mean, they send the squads share the stream i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna give away a knife tonight we're, we're, we're gonna definitely give it away maybe this new one can i do this are you the joker vids back at it again every live stream you do i will donate 100 dollars. this dude just popped in with a $100 super chip. Bro, you are ridiculous. Let's, let's go. We need a, is this still working? <laughs> oh, yes. It, it sure is. Bro, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. We're going to unbox these two. Um, this is from, oh, who is this from? This is from Savivi. I have no idea what's in here. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show you guys this. We'll open it up. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys are all early, so should we just do it now? Noah says, let's go. Yep, yep. Trevin says, uh, where's that giant microtech? Which one? <laughs> That's awesome, Joker. Says, Alpha Prime EDC Brad in the house. Dude, Joker, you're ridiculous, man. We're playing some, like, spooky music? No, this is... This is Oh, this might be nice. Okay. Playing some music. Um, let's see here. Not, why does everyone keep spam, spamming a Naruto? I, I don't get it. <laughs> Catching big TV. How you doing? Hanging out, bro. I'm doing well. How are you? Rob says, Darren. What's up? What's up, dude? In the house. Rob won our 300K giveaway. He's been enjoying that loadout. He sends me a cheers um with the run five 
and uh his other loadouts in front of a beer like almost every single weekend since he got it so can we see your biggest knife that would be a fixed blade and i don't know okay what is twitch name i don't stream on twitch dude <laughs> does it look like i'm a twitch streamer uh let's see brad says loving the purple light dude i just bought this really nice uv light i'm gonna do something for halloween so waiting for a couple more patches to come in from data crew cop those the other night so. do you love the arius more than the zon you're really just gonna put that on me let's talk about the zon i was hunting one of these at blade west and we got one brand new in the box from northwest knives I had to slow roll it. I've been getting pretty good at the flicks. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, so there's the normal flick. The Zon, guys, if you've never handled one, these things are intense. Can I do? Ugh, almost. Here we go. Spidey flick. <laughs> um, dude, I don't know. Like, ergonomically and symmetrically, the Zon is just so nice, man. How's the flipperless Arius? That's balance. And I'm so jealous of him. The flipper, the flipper delete makes a huge difference. Huge difference. Um, but you got the Savivi banneret in that package. Um, maybe. Uh, did you grab the orange bead from JRW uh, today? I did. I bought two sets. Speaking of those beads, we got these ones too. You guys know what's coming. This is weird music. I can't. I can't. We're going to go. No. <laughs> I can't do this. Uh, hang on. But we got some red JRW beads. The Flex Curator beads. Uh, what do we got? Live stream. There we go. This is our music. <sighs> okay. Sorry if I don't get to your guys' questions. Um, If I miss it and it's been like a couple minutes, just resend it. And I'll try to get to it. Uh, Alpha Prime EDC, Brad says, my new clip just came in, so I'm super pumped to put it on. I left my tools at home. What are you doing, Brad? Where's your pouch, dude? Where's your, like, you got it. You got to do this. Oh, something just broke. What the hell is that? Oh, what? This is one of the pieces. Oh, it probably magnetically attached. So we got this guy on me all the time, all the time. There's that's in the garage book here. My pouch boss. This isn't done yet. Oh, we also got this bead, this aluminum blackout bead from Jamie at JRW. This thing is pretty nice. I dig it. Uh, Crafty Cat says, or Crafty Cat draws says, bro, you, I love you knife videos. I think my favorite is a gravity knife. What is yours? Right now, I can't get this out of my pocket. I've just been, oh God, it's so good. I put a tactile uh, turn or tactile knife co bead on there from a bear, stripped off the bear and then put it on this and then put some paracord on it. So uh let's see elijah in the house what's up have you ever looked at strope knives their blade designs are nuts now that you bring it up let me go grab it real quick speaking of which i'm probably gonna swap out the lanyard on this a gp2 This is actually my most favorite fixed blade in the entire collection. But yeah, yeah, I own the GP2. So um, I'm not a huge fixed blade guy. Um, they just barely got onto my radar like what, a few months ago. But when I start wearing pants and belts again, best bet I'm going to be carrying this. Um, oh my God, I'm missing all this stuff. I'm sorry. 
Brett says, jealous of the Zon man. You going to give it pocket time over the winter, over the winter blade factor? It has been. So it was the Arius, or no, before that it was the Anthem, the Anthem in my pocket at all times. Then I moved over to the Arius, and then after the Arius was the Factor, and now it's been the Zon since I got it. I mean, it's only been like a few days, like a week. But bro, this thing is just, I thought the Sabenza was dope. I still have my Sabenza, but the Zon on a different level, man. I mean, like I said, it's, hard to flick out but aside from that it's it's good Pogue's magna cut is soft yeah i would have to i would have to agree brad says i have two pouches with me rocking the patches and of course skeleton shoot skeleton shoot that's right but i need to put, put a tool in one of them what is your most recommended there we go combat beats mark mark two bin driver yeah, we just showed it this one. Mine's in a satin titanium. You got some bits. Plug in Ur Urban EDC Supply. They they get these in maybe like once every, I'd say like three months. And they sell out really quick. But this one right here, it is so good. If you don't have like a huge budget, because that is kind of expensive, you can go and pick up Ben's... Um, Ben's tool. I think he has the iFix kit. <sighs> okay. Bro, the $500 price on the Zon is kind of nuts. It's actually not. It's not that bad. It's not. I mean, like, I I have expensive knives. Like, the Arius. That thing ran me, like, 800 bucks. The Zon is so good. It just feels very, like, linear. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. Opinion on the mini sandbar from Savivia. I like the sandbar. Actually, I miss it. I gave it away to one of my friends. It's a good knife. It's a damn good knife. Um, Charlie's in the house. What's up, dude? Hey, uh, Jay Henkel's Solingen, Germany. Okay. Let's open this up. Let's let's open this up. We'll use this on. We'll use it. Okay. Special package from Savivi. Oh, we've seen this before. Have we seen this one too? Oh. oh. What? Is this new? I don't think they have a mini version of that. Um, hang on, hang on. I'll open it up for you guys. Let's see here. Two variants. $35. So $30. Wait a minute. Okay, D2, but 30 bucks. What? Now let's open up the big one first. The big one, big one you guys have seen before. I think. Yeah, yeah. Big one is 40, $47 open up the big one and then let's see what's up here hopefully i don't cut myself on camera but there we go there we go <sighs> guys if i'm missing your chats i'm sorry silica gel who needs that okay oh, okay what we got um okay i think i've had one of these but who knows what this model is who knows what this model this is the Praxis, it's a 9CR, 18 MOV. But this is a wooden one. This knife is still, this is like OG Savivi. Except they've got the Kaborsha wood. Is it Kaborsha wood? Let me check. Kaborsha wood. 9CR, 18. Okay. I know this knife already. Um, it has a nice ramp here, jumping. And you can choke up if you really want to forward finger choil right there i must say the zon is messing up my thumb so there's that um okay so that that will go back in here because we'll probably give this away sweet let's check out the other one 
I make all these unboxing videos on shorts now and I'm like I should probably reserve some for the live stream because this is fun okay here is this one let's see, let's see what's this all about okay green g10 oh my god 35 bucks for this thing oh oh shit Savivi what you doing what you doing man what this is the mini praxis I should have why did I put that back in the box? Let me, let me put this back out. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Savivi, what, what are you doing? Coming out with this heat. Shit. So here's the mini. Here's the full size. Original. I think this is new. $35, bro. That's literally a budget knife. That's like in send cut price range. I mean, this is D2, but I mean... $35. Is this thing on bearings? Oh, wrong way. Nope, I added the right way. Yeah, this thing is on bearings. Okay, let me pull out an ele elementum. Let me pull out an elementum because this is what this feels like. I, I don't even know what it feels like. Hang on. Let me grab let me grab an element. Okay, so this is Elementum. Oh, that's why it feels so similar. Because they're very, very similar in size. Hmm. That's impressive. Um, is this new though? Oh my god, they put a recessed pocket clip on there. can't beat that dude this is like lesser expensive if not the same price as like crkts that you see or gerbers oh my god okay yeah you guys you need to check this out um if you have an extra 35 dollars laying around i i assume this is gonna be pretty damn good it still has that very large forward finger choil so you can still choke up really well elementum you can't do that i mean i guess you can if you put your finger on the flipper tab right there and choke up but where's the placement on that so pivot lined up yeah you get an even more forward you can like get all the way up to almost the tip with your thumb that's crazy Lesser expensive, so inexpensive. Thirty-five dollars, like, is nothing, Ian. Yeah, th this has to get some pocket time. Does the full size? Yeah, on the mini, they have the recessed deep carry pocket. Oh my god, this is like way too loud. Hang on. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. There we go. Jesus Christ. Man. Okay. All right. Um mini praxis so far first impressions badass knife enough said <laughs> okay let's put all this stuff away and then let's show you guys in detail in depth of what i got at blade show west because we got some stuff and the elites will know all the mods will know you know what i have but everyone else i have i don't think i've ever really shared anything that we got aside from in the vlogs and we got some pocket art we got some knives we got a bunch of knives anywhere from autos to push button locks to shavaz okay wait where where did the size of praxis go there it is my goodness how are you guys doing tonight jeez um Ian, where's King Chavez? Don't worry. I'll show you. I'll show you. I can't wait till we see the Comrade Towser K and the original come out in fat carbon and Elmax. 
Is that is that Kaiser? We got a bunch of Kaisers. Speaking of which, you guys didn't see the short. This is uh Revere. Yeah. S35VN. I want a regular sized bull mastiff. Or not mini bull mastiff, right? Is that what we're calling them? I, I can't even remember, man. Sheep dog, not bull mastiff. Bull mastiff is Savivi. Mini sheep dog. Um Okay. Um, Dwayne Letterman. What's up, dude? Sheep dog, I know. You guys have no idea how many different models I have to remember. Like this guy is called the PPY, right? Yeah, the PPY from Kaiser. It has the Refere scale on both sides as well. This thing actually has a pretty impressive action. Um, and then we've got the Gemini. <laughs> so many knives. This one's pretty cool. It's a Ray Laconico design. Let's see. Can you guys see that? Maybe very clean action very very clean action i wish they would have done like a cut through puller on this and then knocked the flipper tab off it's not bad bro did you get covid at plane show nope did not okay oh my gosh let me, let me just straighten some stuff out guys i hate having a mess in front of me there we go especially if we're taking the knife apart we're not going to lose a screw, I promise, tonight. Okay, so we're going to move this up. And let's talk about what we got. Okay. So I already showed you this. Right? Chris Reeves Zahn. Umnum Zahn. Put the lanyard on there with the tactile bead and tie. What do those scales feel like? They're very smooth. I can't, can I, let's see. You guys even hear that? Feels like a very smooth G10. Best way to put it. Okay. Um, What do I want to show first? Let's do the pocket art first. So you guys already saw it. I went, I went full blown Jamie fanboy. <laughs> we got this stuff. So these two, JRW red curator flexes. Those are dope. Um, let's see, this isn't really pocket art. Pick this guy up. The Vero. Why can't I remember the name? Of this? Um, here, let me just pull it up. I'll show you guys. It's like the most popular Vero primer out there. Um, why, why is it going over my head? I'm sure you guys know. <sighs> God. Fulcrum. I'm not even looking at it. It's called the Fulcrum. Jesus, man. Okay, we got a Fulcrum full-size version with the Glow Rhino. This one is number 30. It's etched with the Tritium inlay. So this one's pretty cool. This one is probably just going to sit in the toolbox, chilling to the chest. And then the mini full. Look how much bigger it is. It's insane. This is a pretty badass pry bar though. I really dig the clip on here that they put on or that Joseph put on. Cool. So we got those. Um, we got one of these. Oh, that was terrible. From Blade HQ. They had them at the booth and I was like, oh, that's a cool Zippo. And then the dude at the booth was just like, yo, here you go. It's like, cool. Okay. It's uh, one of those donut ones, so basically you can charge these bad boys up. It's glow in the dark. You guys can see that. Oh my god, I just hit my face. It's like low key charged up. Let's see, boom. Got one of those. Um, let's see. Additional pocket art inside this pouch. Got a chip from high tech gear along with a gst leather slip this was gifted from mike these things are like 
very nice. I'm actually really surprised on the quality on this. So EDC coin, I guess. I don't know. What do you want to call it? It's a chip. It's a chip. And it looks dope. Okay. After that, got one of these. And this is the uh, bronzed titanium accomplice. It just, it just looks amazing. And it feels amazing too. Um, I, I don't know what size fingers I have, but like this is, you guys are gonna be like, oh yeah, well, what is that? Well, what do you do with it? So with the NUC, this is an SFK. Um, it's a piece of pocket art, like, you, you have to line up to get one of these, which I had to do. You guys might see that in the next video. But um, yeah, essentially pocket art is like collectible pieces of like metal. The button, if you really need to, I mean, I guess you could use it, but you could pro probably get arrested. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, I put some beads on there and this one is a blue purple with the tough and tough as nails there we go. and then here's the curator oh, this is this is my baby throw on a paracord with the gsd slip and the curator brass bead that i got down in texas oh here's the other side and then here's the baby here's the baby all copper i was telling jamie i was like dude how sick would it be if I were to do a shipwreck patina on this, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's just such a nice piece of pocket art. Slash Worry Stone. Here's the other side. So it's supposed to be Zion National Park here in Utah. Looks like a waffle. I mean, it does. These two match up seamlessly together. You guys didn't know that both from jamie and they're both <sighs> these are like some prize prize possessions right here so accomplice and curator and then i also i won this in a giveaway lotto this is a pendant that jamie made it's either like one of one or one of two. Oh my god here we go it has the same pattern as my accomplice but it's an appendant form it says jrw on this side and then this ring right here is in silver and this chain is in titanium so we got three pieces from jamie um like metal goods and then we also got some other things but there's those next to each other boom and all those babies pendant yeah it's it's sick i really like it um i haven't really worn it yet um there's still stuff in my toolbox i stowed away um so this is the medusa i believe yeah the M medusa from heretic knives so i think it's uh tony jr basically it, gave me this and i was like hey uh okay i mean you don't have to give it to me and then he's just like check it out let's see what your thoughts are so this is an auto it's got this like grip tape texture and it it resembles a lot of microtech but in its own way i guess um like the clip for example if you guys have ever seen the microtech hera it's pretty much a heretic clip i mean this thing kicks like a mule too tonto of course and it's blue so. we also do have a um a matching pen full action pen should i pull that out yeah i'll pull that out hang on Okay. Here's the pen. What do they call this again? The Thoth. 
I don't know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. It's called the thought. It looks like one of those training tools where you can just like pressure point tools, whatever you call them. It's got a glass breaker here up top on the tip. Come on, just focus. There we go. And then I really like the barrel that they use. See how it's milled out in there? It's very lightweight and it's aluminum. It's a little bit more tactical than I would prefer. Um, I, I like big idea design and like refine as well as tactile turn and what they've got. But hey, if I'm ever feeling like very tactile, tactical, I guess I could carry this thing. Um, here it is next to the Medusa. It's like a matching set. Who knows? I, I might give this away someday. We'll see. I mean, this has what, what blade steel is this? Does it even say? Oh, it's L Max. Okay. So this is L Max, not cheap steel. Okay, so we got those out of the way. Um I'll show you the Chavez. This is the 229. Rend rend rendition? Rendition? However you want to say it. <laughs> Your camera is confused. I know. I know it is. Maybe if I turn up the ISO a little bit. Is it this way? Maybe right there. This thing is the Black G10 version, but it's like it's so good in terms of the action, in terms of the ergonomics. Balin got the full Thai version, which I really, really should have gotten, but this thing is sick. Too bad the swap didn't work. It did work. I swapped the Balin because this was originally the Tonto version. I will, I like the drop point quite a bit more. So I swapped blades with him. <laughs> They're both M390 and everything. Still locks up. No problem. Yeah, I mean, this thing is just, it's a beefy knife. Like the Zahn is also a beefy knife, but in, a, in its own way. This guy is just a really thick boy course we got the, the skull clip and it looks dope going trap with the music today yeah we're just chilling might have to grab the data crew pouch but i need to watch out for my budgets ian is probably in that same boat <laughs> sweet so we got this apple show as well g10 version which this is not bad um and then the song Sangra 229. This thing is, uh, this was the last, I guess this is the only one they brought to the show. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just fork out the cash and do it. Um, this is probably my most favorite Warncliffe knife to date. I don't really like love Warnies, but this one, spicy. Um, is this a flat grind? Yeah, that's a flat grind. Let me wipe this off. The action on this thing is crazy good too. Yeah, it just it just falls shuts all day long. Sangre, Sangre, is that how you're supposed to say it? Sangre? I don't know. But yeah, this thing is sick. Um, so these are the two that I picked up. Ellen got the uh, two two nine rendition. Rendition. Rend I don't even know, guys. I don't know. Which one would you pick? I mean, which one do you like more? This one's a lot more girthy. This one's a little bit more slim. Well, I mean, you tell me, do you, do you like the Warney more or do you like the drop point more? Oh no, man. I wish I got the one Pillin got. Oh, well. Um, they also have a drop point version. Other than this guy, probably. But the Warney is dope. Um, I mean, Warneys are very, very functional, right? Like, the, you have access to the tip very easily. How much did you spend at Blade Show? Oh my God, dude, it was too much. It was, it was too much. Um, I, I, I haven't even calculated it out yet because, I mean, this guy was five hundred and. 20 
after tax or something like that um each of these are like 300 something almost four i've even shown you like one of my most favorite pickups this is from protech so we got myself personally i got one two three four five six different knives oh god it, it hurt but it's all good i got stuff that i really like here's this right here oh my god she's kind of dirty it's kind of dirty this is the black on black absolutely murdered out mordax and I already sold off my other one because I was like, okay, I want the black one. Um, the black one is just so sexy. Hard to keep clean, not gonna lie, but the Mordax is just so good. Like, just look at her, just look at her. Magnet cut. Come on, camera. Why are you struggling so much today? I actually took this apart and tuned it in quite a bit. Um, there's oil coming out. In terms of action, the new Mordax and Magnet Cut is amazing. Tax write off. Yep. <laughs> so there's that. And then a knife that I've been hunting since it hit Blade of the Lance. Yeah, this is this is the Operator Series Malibu, guys. Oh my god, she's dirty as well. Oh, it's so good. Just no branding at all. Like Protech is already really good and not branding all their stuff. But with this one, there is literally no branding. Even when you take it out, I think the only branding, this is the only piece that I saw that, or a part, I guess, that had the branding was the push button. That piece, the plunge lock right there. So, and then you can't even see it. Like it's literally imprinted on the interior of the push button mechanism, which is insane. So we went pretty much murdered out in terms of um, the Protex stuff that we went and got. Balin got some pretty sick stuff from Protex. So he bought a Mordax. Um, we could only buy one per day, which was crazy. And then um, one per person per day, I believe. And then they sold out day two i was trying to help someone get one and it's all good i sold him my other morax so <laughs> is that everything i think we went through pretty much all the stuff that i got balen got some cool stuff too not gonna lie so the one that balen got he got the uh what is it the malibu bronze aluminum bronze it might be a custom i'm not 100 percent sure because it's not in front of me that thing he wants he wants me to force patina it aka shipwreck it a shipwrecked malibu with a 500 plus knife bro that that's so sketchy i mean i know i can probably do it but we're gonna we're gonna do something tonight we're gonna try we're gonna try to force patina something or at least get it set up so tomorrow or on Sunday I can run it. Okay, we're gonna do this. So this is my OG Runt 5 bronze aluminum. As you can tell, she's very, very patina. And it's because I just carried it in my pouch. And this is what it looks like. So originally it was like that push button, right? That's that's the tone it was giving. Can't force me to do anything. Hello, this is a this is a chill or giveaway live stream. It's it's both, dude. What do you mean? But yeah, I think I'm gonna take this thing apart tonight. Um, I've been really skeptical of taking apart any ProTech Auto just because I know it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to put back together, and we don't want screws flying anywhere. Cause that happens on this stream <laughs> we're gonna do it okay let's let's crack this open let's talk to the chat and then we're gonna dive into taking that apart because that's the plan tonight rob is like such a perfect pouch carry right dude rob is the one that won it on our 300k so
runt the unsung classic super fly if you guys are gonna if you guys are gonna ask me questions do it now because um right now it's q a time probably for the next 10 minutes we'll just chill let's see is there any new music that we can discover while you guys are going ham there in the chat what's this oh my this is one of my most og songs <clears throat> mini vv praxis yeah i should have left that out but we're gonna give it some pocket time that thing 35 dollars. i don't die. I, I love Shabbos nights. Um, I just traded Balin my scapegoat, and then I was just like, oh, man, I, need, I need another one. The blades are just so, like, thick. Look at this. It's a little focus. Come on, camera. There we go. That blade is insanely thick. Is there a good comparison? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. So here's the Mordax. Here's the Shabbos. Oh. <gasps> It's got like a solid, it's probably like double the thickness, if not more. It could be like two and a half times. So yeah, if you want, if you want something like very thick and like robust feeling, this guy right here. They go for like, I think Urban EDC Supply has these available for what, 200 something? Let's see. and urban edc supply here we go um there we go oh by the way these beads guys these beads right here these are going to be nice i love 45 or 45 phase beads they've got the twist as well as the single so if you guys are trying to get some beads for your pouches do it just just do it i'm literally rocking that on my primary pouch right now except the acrylic version you guys even see that yeah there it is normally those beads are like 80 bucks so if you guys do plan on doing that um use my link it doesn't cost you anything extra but um, yeah, let's see if we can find the shop. So, um, so they've got the so the Sangre, 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 I think. Ian, correct me if I'm wrong. Sangre. So the one that I just got, but in G10, right? So this one, 345, and it has the G10 instead of the titanium. And so personally, I like titanium a little bit more, but they're very hard to get so I, i'm surprised that these are still in stock like are both of them so here's the liberation 229 um i believe it's just the thinner version um uh, but yeah if you guys decide that you want to buy anything off of urban edc supply use this link we'll just pin it and um yeah they also have zip so if you don't have $400 or $345 laying around, it's like four payments, 86 bucks. Not too bad. Um, what else do they got in here? Oh. Oh, in titanium. Liberation in titanium. Because I've got the 229 Sangre. Sangre. We've got the 229 Rendition. God, I can't see it, man. Got this one. I don't have a liberation, though. Oh, man. Ashley's going to kill me. Which one would I go for, though? Because the drop, the drop point on this guy is a lot cooler looking because it's got a compound grind. Whereas that one is just like a straight flat grind. I think. Let's see. Yeah. In my opinion, the Tonto looks good, but the drop point looks a little bit more even. So. Uh, okay. Let's get back on this. Um. 
Brandon says, loving both the SOCP folder and the Benchmade Blue Class bug out I got from you. Dude. Hell yeah, let's go. I I love those knives when I had them as well. Um, Is the audio skipping for anyone else? New chat. How do I get Ma Malibu? Uh, that is a good question, man. The Malibu is ridiculously hard to get. So, I mean, you can contact house of blades or you can contact um blade ops let them know that brandon sent you they might be able to hook you up the lc says bad influence guys bought the data group patch. you're gonna love it dude i promise um speak of beads uh, jrw dropped some orange curator beads today yep i bought two sets man it's amazing how do you tie the paracord for the bead um I watched a tutorial and then now it's like muscle memory. So what is this music? Hang on, I'm gonna change this. Okay, this is chill. So I can't even remember, is this a snake? No, this is not a snake, is that a snake? I can't even remember the name of the knot. <laughs> but there's this knot. And then do I have anything that has the other knot? This might be the snake knot something like that just youtube it man how to tie a paracord areas for over 1k is it worth this is david what variants if it's a flipper delete version i mean that's that's hard i would probably say yes I've handled hundreds, if not thousands of knives at this point, and the Arius is top tier. Go for Tonto, I mean Persian Switch. <laughs> Ian, fuck off. <laughs> Landon, what are your um, opinions on the uh, Benchmade 553 five, five, mini bug out? I thought, isn't it a 5.3? Is it the 5.5.3? No. What? Just a mini bug out, right? five three three yeah like five five three what um it's sick dude i really like the mini bug out i just had to happen to sell mine so we can go drop all this money at blade west <laughs> do you guys ever do want to um i guess like get in on my knife sales which i am starting to move through more and more um just basically follow me on instagram if you guys have it i usually post the community post here on youtube as well and that goes crazy <clears throat> there's always malibus on ebay if you don't mind paying more for one that is sketchy um i don't think any chinese manufacturers have been able to replicate it though so i'm not sure how the um fake market is going or counterfeit market let's look it up pro tech malibu Three hundred, two eighty nine, three hundred, two sixty, two sixty five, three ten, two ninety for the Mordax. There's Balins. Seven hundred. Is this the same one? Yeah, I. This looks very similar to what Balin got. It's seven hundred. What is this music? No. No, I don't want that. I mean, this is chill. We can, we can work with that. I can jam. Um, how much is an operator Malibu? Six hundred dollars, bro. Are you kidding me? Six hundred. Dina, have a good one. Um. Yeah. What would your choice be for someone looking at for the best of VV knife under one hundred dollars? Don't buy this VV by the lander. No, um, if I were to choose an under 100, let's go Savivi shopping. Why don't we? Savivi, boom. Um, here we go. 
we'll just look at their new arrivals um because i i just don't have the prices memorized off the top of my head they've got a bunch of models going over a hundred dollars anyways um yeah none of these guys no we'll, we'll just go back into their shop here we go um i would still say probably the elementum um let me see if anything else like kind of just pops in my head here can we do like a price category 70 70 plus i guess we could do that 70 plus bug two no cogent is awesome the altus is awesome um trying to think chevalier che chevalier mm, no conspirator oh the conspirator is under 100 bucks this is a really damn good knife right here um i i dig the conspirator just because of its overall size um it feels like a really good robust knife it's got nitro v button lock which they recessed with pocket clip but eh. Terax weighs like 10 pounds, but it's solid, says Ian. The, the Terax is heavy, man. They weren't joking when they were calling it the Terax. Like, it's crazy. Zon Gang says Brad. Yeah, Zon Gang. I want to see that Malibu before he... <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Oh, uh, Balins. Okay. Just, just send... Uh, PM him. Or, I guess, shout him out. Tag him in the group chat, dude you mean oh we got a bunch of other stuff from we got more than that um hang on let me grab the let me grab the stuff i got from ben Okay. <clears throat> I totally forgot about these. Let's pull up NAFs, because why not? This, these are for the lander. Picked up a bunch of different scales. So, I mean, I already had the black, but these two right here, the green and purple, badass, right? Also got this. This is the Wiimote, guys. I think the I think my buddy bought the last set and Ben was standing right there. He's like, dude, you need this. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of this and make it look really dope. Maybe get my hands on an original Wii. Put it right next to it. Make it look super sexy. How do how do the giveaways work? Anyone know? We're gonna do one tonight. Um I, I'm just gonna start that randomly. So we stick around. Awesome. If not, then sucks to suck but <laughs> yeah we'll definitely do that and um basically with this wiimote uh he's just like yeah take it i was like okay so this one's been handled by a bunch of people Let's see. what is this it's like some vlog music okay is this good anyways the lander is a really good knife for 58 bucks this is more heat music okay we can work with it um yeah so lander i think you guys uh should definitely pick it up that one might win budget knife for you. this is a little too hardcore to run yeah possibly unless i mean this is like ultra budget knife of the year that mini praxis that we just opened up which i'm not even sure if i'm supposed to show you guys but this is a badass knife wicked knife for the price and they still have the pouch and the cloth. I don't know. But Lander, um, I, I don't even know. I mean, he's got recessed pocket clips. The scales are open file or open source. So you can literally download the file if you have a 3D printer. If you want to mill it out of titanium, maybe you want to put Zerk on it. It's pretty dope. Put on Slipknot. Oh, we did that once, and then YouTube was like, hell no, we're not doing that. <laughs> they, like, muted that part of the video. Um, 
We got these scales as well, which I, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these. I'll probably, probably apply these to my orange bug out. But the orange bug out is crazy when it gets under UV light. But um, yeah, it's, Flytanium was walking around giving away scales. They're like, hey, do you want this mystery pack? I was like, or Balin was like, yeah, let's take them. He got JG 10 scales and then I kept the carbon scales because Balin, I literally bought a set of these for him on the other bug out, my original one. This music is also pooping on me. Let's see. You guys probably know who this is. Yeah, it's totally beat. Um. Oh my God, this is all too intense. It's, oh, wait a minute. No. We got some bangers in here. That's all too heavy. Um, live stream. Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Balin's like, this sounds like Guardians of the Galaxy. And I was like, um, okay. I'll go back there. Okay. EDC stream. Sleep at a reasonable time. <laughs> That's awesome, man. We're just kicking it, you know? Um, how do I get those cat scales for the lander? Can you buy them? He had them at the show. I mean, yeah, right here. Or no, not the lander. Does he have cat scales for the lander? He has it for the um, mini banter. Uh, can you just buy them off the website or were they sold out? Oh, dude, I should have gotten some thumb studs. I want some tritium thumb sets on one of my knives. Let's see. The one that um, I've seen Jamie carry was Zack in the Wild. It was a carbon composite scale for the banter. And I don't know where to source it. It looks so good though. Um, KPL versus Tough Flight. I'm probably going to do a video of that as well. Um, out of stock. Oh, they were limited edition. Damn. So he's not making any more of them. Um, is this the same one? Are there any scuffs? Because I think he said this is the demo version. No, that looks probably is. I think Smoky Mountain Knife Works has lander knives. Yeah. Um, so I think a lot of retailers actually are carrying it. QSP is the manufacturer for the lander. It's pretty sick. Uh, let's see. I have to be a little different and went with the bailout. Okay. Bailout is sick. Bullet for my Valentine. <laughs> Guys, I can't put on copyrighted music or else it's going to get banned or not, not banned, but like flags and then muted. And people watching this in the future can't do it. Um, I want that Benchmade Gold Class Osborne. Yeah, that 945 is pretty sick, dude. I'm so debating on snagging the Midnight What a Slider. Okay, now it's time to go to Data Group. Did they drop some stuff tonight? Oh shit. Oh my god. I don't I don't think I have this one. This is the one that Ron has. Less than 200. As you guys know, I really, 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 really like the what a slide. This is just such a good ass pouch. It's it's better than the, the mighty pouch. This guy right here, in my opinion, right? That's my opinion. People can have different opinions, but in my personal opinion, it's better. What's your opinion of Chinese knockoffs versus real deal? Um, well, I think I mean, I, I don't, I'm not someone that would buy a Chinese knockoff, right? I mean, it's, I like 
Chinese manufactured knives, clearly like Riot, right? They make some good shit. They make some really good shit. But when we're talking about like full blown knockoff, knockoff, nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get into that scene. Like I understand it's more affordable, but it's just not my cup of tea. I like something that's like really nice. This is dope, dude. Oh my god, dude. I have too many pouches. Because right now I'm in the middle of like carrying this guy right here. The AGP here. Let me load this up. We'll load up the AGP so you guys can see how I do this. So right now inside the AGP, I've got my Anthem, got my Zerk full action mini we've got the tie pick from daily carry co we've got the sog power pint the micro click arcadian oh you guys can't even see it here we go micro click arcadian goes right here right pocket art right so we need that accomplice fits in here if i can even here i have to put this down and the slip kind of acts like a little pocket, like an extra pocket. So load it out, it looks like this. And then if I do want to access my accomplice, slides right out. And then the leather slip chills in there. So yeah, um, this thing I've been carrying for the past week and a half, two weeks almost. At first I was like, eh, I, it felt eh. And it, after carrying it, this is this is a pretty damn good contender. Four pouch of the year. If I even make that video. Um, the only things I don't like about this pouch is or are the zipper here. It's nowhere near the same build quality as like the garage built gear, mighty pouch plus, or the data cruise slider. Um, it just feels more cheap. Like, is this a good example? I don't know. Um, what else do I not like about it? Uh, probably this, this material. I don't even know what it is, but the canvas material of what Garage Belt Gear uses, as well as what Data Creed uses, is a little bit nicer than this. But I do really like the amount of surface area we've got here, right? Tons of surface area for ranger eyes, patches, all the good things. Um, it has these loops that came in clutch when we were at Blade Show. I literally hooked up um, one of my other sling bags, hooked up those two, and then wore it like this the entire show. Sick though. Okay. You should do another pouch build from scratch. Maybe maybe we'll see hey could you please show us your top three knives that are oh, sorry that are clean looking and easy to flip because i wanted to get a herman knife but won't able to do yeah please help um easy to flip uh arius koenig arius Um, oh, you know what? I also got, speaking of that, thanks, Brad. Brad, Alpha Prime EDC says two to $300 for fidget toys and knives to fidget with. We got the black hole in Zirconium gifted from Lefty EDC. Shout outs to that boy. If you're not subscribed to him, you should check him out. But this thing is pretty sick. It's just a haptic coin. Sit there all day. Ashley really likes this thing got used to it and then was able to make it like really loud this thing's pretty cool though but on the inside like you guys are used to seeing oh my god like i said my thumbs are getting destroyed but um the bearings look at this bearing system 
because they're used to seeing knife bearings but this bearing system is just crazy pretty neat little thing um yeah i told lefty like yo show me your dump up, dump out your um fidget toys because he's the guy oh shoji's in the house what's up what's up shoji um brad also accidentally bought Arius. totally totally <laughs> welcome to the Arius crew dude what do i call it the Arius squad hashtag Arius squad why not um this is gonna get way too annoying i need to put that down <laughs> let's see uh, bruce blade brigade has shared the fact that knife center literally dropped some available areas and since bought one i figured i'd think tried thinking it would be unavailable but in and the order went through congrats brad congrats you you can you can literally swap that so easily you can literally flip it and make money on that if you wanted to tucson ts319 is a great reverse flick knife okay I should check out Tucson sometime. Tom, yo EDM, how's it going tonight? Um, we're good. This is a little bit later than uh, what I'm usually used to, so I'm a, a little bit more tired, but we're okay. Um, Zach says, uh, what got you into knives? Did your work require it at some point? No, I got into knives before I was even working. When I was 13, I was watching an unboxing video from Lou at Unbox Therapy. He had a CRKT Van Hoy snap lock, if you guys know what that is. And um, I was just like, damn, I want that knife. <laughs> so I bought it and it's good. And then that, that's like, I guess the beginning. Trey, I'm going to check out the, I mean, maybe not on this brass one, but. Jesus, I'm awesome. <laughs> Says Bruce. Um, best EDC multi tool, SOG power pints. That's what I've been using. Brandon, we really are the same AW cream soda, bro. <laughs> Says CPM. CPM is also Brandon, if you guys didn't know. But uh, yeah, like, we're homies, bro. <laughs> Sorry, my internet cut out. Um, just as you answer my question, what knife did you say? Um, which one? What did we answer again? Oh my God. Um, I am changing this. Hang on guys. I want, oh, here we go. Oh, that's too intense. Whew. Just gotta take it in. What Halloween themes for my background. We still need to take apart run five um let's do that let's do that right now you guys are gonna witness me taking apart my first ots side auto i've done otfs before but an ots like this thing kicks like a mother let's take it apart and we have something that we need to unbox for this so let's grab it Don't worry, don't worry guys. Got the cheat sheet pro. We're gonna use it. <laughs> unlike, unlike the first time I got these. Okay. Um, what else do I need? Oh, I need a microfiber cloth. Hang on. There's too much stuff on the table. We're okay though. Oh, okay. CPM has been rocking the, the plexus. He's been into it. 
it was dope i sat down with balon and israel for dinner at blade west and it was a good time we'll see if this stuff works flits it's like a polisher this is only eight bucks and we're gonna try to remove the patina off of this thing <sighs> wish me luck boys wish me luck okay so the runt five i believe is t6 hardware t8 t6 right here so we're gonna hang out we're just gonna chill keep it quiet This is sketchy. This is really sketchy. Oh, wait. Nope. It's T8. T8 per, or the pivot screw. Here, let's do this. Now you guys can see everything on my table. Um, no, it's not T8. Wait, is that a hex screw? What? Is it T10? Will T10 work with it? Oh, lefty. God, do it, dude. Look, the Zahn has been killing my thumb, but. Shout outs to Lefty. He named it the bubble. Yep. Yep. Okay. <sighs> it's hex hardware. Okay. Well. Or at least for the pivot. That's too big. Uh, can we size down maybe one? Be careful with that flint CPM. Tell me before I do this, man. <laughs> God, tell me before I do this. Uh, yeah, I, I was just planning on wiping it on and off, and that's pretty much it. What the hell size is this? What? Nope. Maybe. Anything satin is going to pop. Okay. Okay. That's good news. That's what I want. <clears throat> Maybe we should test it on the elemental before I do on the run. But this work? Bro, what size are you? Are you kidding me? There's no way. Can someone quickly look up and see what, what pivot size are you, man? I don't think I have anything that fits. Are you kidding me? This, what? Hang on. E6 will work if you're gentle. Well, that's the thing. T8 won't even work. It doesn't even catch. Ugh, Jesus, man. Hang on. I'm going to go grab all of my bits.
Hashtag Floss Crew. You guys suck. You guys suck, man. Oh. What's this? Wait, what? Okay. T8. Possibly. This is a different T8. Okay. Wish me luck, boys. This is, this is going to be sketchy. I hate this. We might... Should we take off the... Uh, we'll take these off first. Are those T8 as well? Feels like it. Okay. Why does such a small knife have to scare the F out of me? Going in there. It's T9? Someone found it? sitting in front of me oh here's the t9 this is gonna be fun yeah totally oh it is t9 thank you james you're awesome bro Don't lose a screw, please. Or a spring. Oh God, this is getting sketch. Okay. Oh my God, man. No. This is so sketchy. Please don't. Scale's coming off. Scale's coming off. How do I do this, man? We did it, boys. <laughs> we did it. Okay. Just have to be extra careful. Careful. Put spring in here. Now we have to release the tension on this one. Okay. 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 Wow. Wow. Oh. No. Did I? I thought that end of the spring just sheared off. Oh my God, dude. I was about to flip out. <laughs> Damn, look at that. That is the inside of a run blade. Like, there's literally only that piece connecting it to the pivot. All right. Sketchy part is pretty much done. Um, can we get this out though? Is this pressure fitted? What? Oh my god, man. Can't wait for reassembly. No, nope, uh, I do not. That that's gonna be a swell time, dude. It's gonna be an amazing time. I, I so excited. So excited. Where's my T6 at? Right there. Why is the keyboard vibrating? It's not, it's just the frame rate of my camera. Here. I'll go like this the LED going off so we're just gonna we're gonna turn this up a little bit <sighs> okay now we can calm down a little bit there we go now we're just chilling <clears throat> 
opening up the UTX 70. That sounds fun. Not really at all. <laughs> or the shift. Hey, guys, it's Kev here. <laughs> hey, guys, it's uh, Kev here. That's awesome. Damn it, Brad. I'm not losing a screw, okay? We're, we're putting it in the recess portions. <laughs> oh, yes. 199. Let's go. Super chat. Thanks, bro. You need to get a get good screwdriver. You'll dig that shit. Hell yeah, dude. You should totally DM that over to me so I don't forget it. Okay. Pocket clip. Oh. Look at that patina, guys. Holy shit. That's insane. That's actually insane. Now, how do I get this pivot out? Ian, what the... What the $5? Don't lose a screw, bro. Like, everyone... Love you, man. But God damn it. Everyone with the lose the screw thing. It's because I lost the damn screw on a bug out. Oh, Thanks yes. for the $5, bro. Okay. How do I get this out now? What the fuck, man? Kev? Lefty? What, do I, what am I doing here? How do I get this pivot out, dude? What am I doing? Like, do I just need to push down? I need to take this out. What do you think? Should I just push down on it? Like, <sighs> nope. Do I need some tough glide? What do you guys think? <clears throat> Dude, what I'm doing is I never remove the pivot. The reason why I'm trying to rem remove it is because we're going to shipwreck this thing. So leave it. That's the thing is I, I am trying to shipwreck it. So won't that just mess it up? The tolerances are super tight. Yeah, I can tell. I can like really tell that's a lot. That's like perfect in there. Perfectly set, not built to come back out. Stand up and lean on that bitch. Okay. Am I going to break it though? I mean, I, I weigh like 200 pounds, man. I guess we're gonna have to leave it let's try this stuff flits please do that <laughs> he's taking a dump <laughs> you're ridiculous man record that clip please do not record that clip no <laughs> please don't uh, oh okay okay um cpm said to be careful we're gonna be careful um i'm just gonna use this is the cbb stuff i don't want to ruin this Blitz. Okay, so before. Hopefully we can get it back to that. All right. Being very careful. I think it's a wipe on, wipe off type of thing. Maybe. I'm going to read this. What's going on? Wondering how patina stuff. What I'm trying to do is essentially 
make it so that the patina, like remove the patina so we can reforce it back on there. Um, well, let's see. Is that too much? I don't know if that's too much. Never used this before. Oh my God, there's so much, dude. What am I do with this rug? Hello? I have no idea if this is going to work as well. So. Oh, uh, bro, I don't think it's going to work. Is it? Uh, what if I like... Small amounts. Shit. Well, we just we just smacked a shit ton on there, dude. I mean, it might be working. Look at that. Is it working? I don't know. Gotta polish it off. It's not instantaneous. Yeah, I've never used it. What? We're just chilling. And let's see if we can. It's removing the patina. That's exactly what we want. Get a Dremel. With the buff pad, I mean, I guess I can do that. No. <laughs> Holy shit, this is actually... Damn. Damn. Can you guys even see it, like, how it's polishing that? I don't know if we can get it back to that, but we'll see. This is all an experiment, so... Um, should we just put like a tiny bit more on there? What's the thing? Kev, I, I don't want to pay someone to do this. I want to do it myself so I can learn some shit, you know? Because um, I'm not sure if anyone's ever done this before. To remove the patina. Because we want a fresh, fresh slate, as they say. Clean slate, my bad. I think this entire microfiber cloth is just gonna get wrecked. Oh, you can get it mirror polish before patina? What? So I wanna remove it because when I when I worked on the banter, um, based off of experience, I was using the KPL Rust Eraser. Um, when it's a more clean surface without the patina on there, it got a lot more vibrant. And I don't want to be testing stuff on Balin's, um Gold Malibu. So I was just like, okay, we're going to play with this one first, see how it works. And if it works really well, then we will do it on the, um, on the textured Malibu. And his is his is still brand new. It's it has that gold finish on it, just like this, right on this side. But let's see what's up. You're killing, bro. <laughs> Stick with it. I'm trying, dude. Keep scrubbing. That's how we clean the display models at the House of the Blades. Oh, Chris, what's up, dude? Chris is in the house, AKA House of Blades. So can we bring it back to an original finish though? Cause it's still, that's that still looks pretty dope in my opinion. It's like a mirror polished Mirror polished bronze, if anything. Let's 
So that's the thing, Bruce. This is bronze aluminum. It's a bronze aluminum. So I, I don't know if it'll work. That's exactly why I'm testing this out because no one else has done it. So if we can get the blue on this, cool. But it does have aluminum in it. So it might just fail. And it's okay if we fail because this, this knife is kind of like... I don't know. I just, I, I'm okay with doing this to the knife itself. So I'm betting you can get it back. <laughs> Try and dude, Let's see if we can. That's what we're going for. That's where we're at. You gotta scrub it, dude. Meantime, I can actually read the chat while I'm just doing this mindlessly. T-Bag says, I did my ray light with ammonia and salt. Okay, nice. Basically, it was free, so don't worry about that. No, um, I actually had to buy this one. Okay. Oh, that's a pretty pretty huge difference sweet maybe i should let it sit overnight and then post an update in a community post or something i don't know the way i do it is electric electric coat nickel then copper then shipwreck bro bruce you're you're out of my league bro i don't even know what you're talking about damn Sell me that cheat sheet. <laughs> um, this one was the uh, promo version from Jamie. He still has them in stock, I think, Ian. Just buy it directly from him. Do I... St I think I need more. Oh, shit. That's way too much. Electroplate. What does that mean, Bruce? We're just going ham on the scale. Ooh. We had a music? Nope. Okay. Copper washer. Yo. I need you to explain how to do that again. <laughs> You know what sucks? I don't know. Tell me, Kath. Tell me, dude. There's two scales. <laughs> At least there's not four. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> That's looking dope. Holy shit. Except we're only on one, one side. We have to do all the sides. This looks different than when it was new. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is... Hmm. Cheat sheets are sold out. Sell me. Wait, what? Cheat sheets are sold out, so sell me them. I don't think they are. I'll have to talk to Jamie. I think they're coming back. But... Need some batteries and cop copper sulfate. Where do I get copper sulfate? Oh boy, she's coming back. I need to do this to my gods and custom because that thing is just patinaing sitting in my shelf. Oh my god, it looks so good in there. Resurrecting this thing, man. Hell yeah, I'm so down. Rob? There you go, man. I ordered the data crew midnight what a slider 001. Yeah, yes, sir. Amazon, okay. That looks so different than what it was. Holy shit. Cool. Flitz. Flitz brings back the original finish. I guess. We'll see. I'm going to keep going. 
We've already gotten like all that side of the microfiber. Nice score, Rob. Does more pressure and faster help it come back easier? Let's see. This stuff smells weird. At this rate, Ian, you're going to have like so many damn pouches. <laughs> Are we looking? Damn, that stuff is crazy. What? So I'm gonna get this side and then also all of these little weird edges, but Flitz is the shiz. Yeah, apparently. Do you know anything about pocket deployer knives? If so, do they work like I say they do? You mean Emerson? I just really hope ammonia works with this like really bad because it looks so sick. We'd be the first ones doing this. Oh my God, this is it's rough, man. I'm gonna be doing this all night. <laughs> oh shit. There's a bottom side too. Hang on, I'm just gonna. This way, you guys will have to. There we go. There we go. You guys can just watch me look at this nice skin. Is it coming off though? Looks like it is. Nice. Looks sick, dude, says Kev. Thanks, man. This is literally trial and error, so. I'm doing it live on stream. Yeah, data, data crew just dropped some. They're going fast. Anything that data crew drops goes fast, man. Except that first run, I, they were just sitting on shelves or online for a while there. Kevin, Kev, Lefty, get yourself a what a slider. I guarantee you, you'll like it, especially for your fidgets. They're like 50 bucks. Totally worth it, man. Um, and if you don't trust that, I mean, uh, just watch my review on it if you want to. <laughs> it's good. Let's look wrong now, dude. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, Ian. My bad, dude. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I'm going to start like adding patina on the inside from holding it. Here, um, one of my mods, Ian, if you want, um, grab the link on the water slider before it sells out and post it in the chat. You should be able to and then pin it because we're talking about that right now. Or, or Bruce, or anyone. Okay, sweet. Thanks to you. Oh my God, dude. That looks better than the original finish. Why? Why does it look better than the original finish? That's crazy. I've got all three. AGPs, I'll have to fold off or hold off on another pouch, even though it looks awesome. It says Chris, dude, Chris, do you guys carry the AGPs? I really like my AGP, just saying. Um, the water slider is pretty badass though. It's starting to get hot in here. Hang on, time to adjust 
AC, turn that bitch on. Let's see. Whew. I'm like sweating over here. Dude, will this work? Oh my God. Can I reverse patina my accomplice? Jamie would probably hate me. Jamie might hate me, but it might look dope. A mirror polished accomplice. Mm. Oh, it's a pouch. Thought it was a slider slider. It's sold out except the camo shit. I'm not into. Damn it. The black one is sold out now. What? That was quick. And they just like drop. Um, let's see. Sold out. <laughs> of course they are. Shit. Well, hey, when it when it gets, you know what, I'll, dude, because you gave me the the b hole, I'll hook it up. Um, come on. <sighs> Lefty was right. It's like you know what sucks. There's another side, and there is. But so far. This is looking pretty damn good. Okay, we gotta start focusing on the bottom of this. So on the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna push in the same direction. There we go. Yeah, I'm still rubbing it off. Is this how they hand rub when it comes to blades? I wonder if this is what they mean. Yo, man, watch out. There's someone behind me. I mean, I can see behind me. So we're okay. That's insanely dark. Anything for us? Is that as good as it's gonna get? Maybe. That's like a legit mirror polish there. <laughs> Bruce says, "LOL, I'm lazy. I have a polisher on my workbench." Well, um, my garage is completely full. Random shit. <laughs> and if I had the workspace, which I will. Give me like a year or two. There will be a shop. Right now it's just a studio. Kev. Okay, well, I'll just let you know, dude. <laughs> um, either way, I appreciate you. Bruh, I hope this is worth it because once we put it into the ammonia with the salt, there's no going back. I mean, I guess we could do this again, but F that, man. Please just come off. Okay. How does this stuff even work? Like, honestly, that was it. Is it a liquid KPL eraser? Is that what this is? Dude, Brad, you need to get in on high tech gear. Get yourself a chip, dude. That's looking pretty damn solid. Finish is crazy. This makes me want to just buy all the aluminum bronze stuff. Not done yet, but here we go. One. Can you guys see how shiny that is? 
That's crazy. This stuff is crazy. Look at that. It went from, so this is like the original finish, right? That's what it looks like when it came out of the box, right where the clip is. <laughs> That's ridiculous, man. Holy shit. So it went three different stages. You have this, this, and now this. Damn. <laughs> Don't even want to force Patina at this point because this is looking pretty badass, man. I'm not going to lie. Shit. Um, let's keep working on this portion. Bought this stuff on a whim. Can confirm it works really damn well. Just do one side for now. I want them to match, Bruce. I mean, if I do one side right now and just test run it, then you guys can at least see the process. If I do it the right way. Oh my God, dude. It's so shiny. What the F, man? Holy shit. That's like literally insane. I wish you guys could see this in person right now, but. We're just doing drip patina now. The sub notification sounds like a silence SMG. Um, it's just a knife flicking. And we're just chilling right now. So you guys sticking around? What's up? <laughs> Still gotta give away a knife. I think I'm gonna do one of those because we still have to ship out Bruce's knife. I still got fixed blade to ship out. We'll ship this one at the same time, but. Hang on. Okay. What angles am I missing? God damn it. <sighs> Did this side, this side. Working on this side now, we still have to do the bottom and the top as well as the choil. I don't know how long this is going to go, so. <laughs> Time is already nine. So we've been going for almost two hours already. Jesus. Gosh. <laughs> what is this knife? The Runt 5. Still not even close. Shit. Did that mess up anything? I'm just caking it on at this point, guys. I have to do the same shit to my uh, copper smock scales. That's shiny as hell, right? This stuff delivered in like 0.2 seconds too. Same day delivery. I ordered it earlier today. That's just crazy that you can just rub it on too. Like you don't really even need any tools. I mean, to disassemble a knife, of course, but like. That is literally a mirror polish there. Holy shit. I'm so surprised. I think I have the tools with the acetone salt and stuff down here, but I'll have to double check. I need to take a picture of this. Hang on, guys. Because that's literally... Damn. Oh, my gosh. What the hell? That's sick. You can also find it in auto stores. Okay. Yes, apparently that you can just go into the auto store and buy it. Bruce has all the sources. 
I'll give you a piece of gum for one of the <laughs> I already have a lot of gum in the house I'm good dude yes Ian I don't know if I can say that but yes And I am putting a lot of force onto this, so. Me sleepy now. We're gonna change this. <sighs> We're gonna go back to this. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's do this. Get zoned, you know. Stuff smells like ass. Smells like ass. Trevin, you might want to be careful. Ian, Ian has the power to ban you, bro. Okay, now JB Weld is worse, hands down. Um, but I mean, it doesn't smell nice whatsoever. Looking good, guys. Holy shit. This stuff is so impressive. I want to do this on like a bunch of different materials now. I never heard of this stuff. I literally went onto Amazon looking for a metal polisher and found this. Apparently, a lot of you guys know what it is already, but this is the first time I've ever experienced this. And the in just the, the finish is so good. It's a good way to interpret. 
Actually, I can do this. Like that. Okay. Oh, okay. I think we're good. Good enough, at least, to start a force patina on this and see if it works. I'm gonna turn this down. This is a little loud. Um, let's try it. Let's try it. Okay, we're gonna put this down. Final result. Oh, did I miss it? No. Yeah. Oh my God. Take her back. Gotta clean as much as I can on the interior too. The stuff, I mean, I guess the best way to put it is this stuff smells like, it smells like fish. It smells like fish on <laughs> I know that's weird. It smells like fish on the uh um on the scale itself. Does it is it No, it just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it does not smell good whatsoever. But the trade-off is it looks really damn good. Okay, let me go prep the rest of the stuff. Wash my hands a little bit. And we will set up the uh, horse patina live on stream. Should only take me like, what, 10 minutes? Because I don't have to make an entire damn video on it. One sec. run upstairs and throw the stuff in here in the garbage because that's been sitting there since I did the original banter. So you guys could just chill, hang out, talk to each other. I'll be right back.
forgot the paper towel. In here, I'm gonna go put the JRW cheat sheet pro over there. And this okay. Not used to having a mic in front of me doing this. gloves because I went through all of them. Soak it up. Soak it up. Okay. Um, now let's build the oil tray. Okay. Propulsive Motorsports, aka Sasha. What's up, dude? We are force patina slash shipwrecking or trying, attempting to shipwreck this right here. We just finished polishing this after like, I don't even know how long. There's already stuff on it. Where's my microfiber? There it is. Oh my God, dude. There's like not enough space on this desk. Bronze aluminum. Let's see if it works though. Gotta give it some slack. Okay, so I'm gonna back this up a little bit. And the scale is a lot smaller, so we might be able to have. because we just want those vapors to escape. How's everyone doing? Man, we still have 50 of you guys. And I was AFK there for a second. <clears throat> Question for chat, Microtech or Heretic? I'm more of a Microtech guy, but Please be careful, says Sasha. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find some gloves.
Will this work? This will work. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it with that. I don't have any gloves. I don't want to run to Walmart right now. So, um, okay. How shall we do this? Scale. You. I hope it doesn't like destroy the aluminum copper or the aluminum bronze, but <coughs> oh, horrendous, man. Ooh. Do what I did last time. Essentially take this and then shit. Come on, just grip on there. Please. I don't want this open too long. Hello? Are you just not going to? Oh, there we go. There we go. Exactly. Right. Okay. That needs to go into the toilet. It's actually, let's put that on the cap. Be too picky. This is a test run. Are you preventing it from a complete seal? <sighs> okay, hang on. Holy hell. Oh my gosh. That was, that was a lot of work. Like a shit ton. That was a process, but we did it. And then we, I have to do it again if it does work and do the other side. 
let's get reorganized here and let's do a giveaway oh, Jesus. my back hurts i don't even know why mikey's knife says yo yes made it to a lot let's go hell yeah yeah definitely do not breathe ammonia um what did i use to sniff ammonia before we lifting comps in high school stuff you see in nfl players oh my god okay that's sketchy stuff okay gonna make sure these are the right ones t6 t8 t8 t10 where's my t10 at I lose my T10. What the heck? Mm, I'll just put the T9 in there. Yeah, screw it. Is music playing twice? <clears throat> Let's see if it is. Oh, it, it is. Hang on. Routing. Mike. Where is it coming from? Mike. System. Okay. That should have fixed it. Is it working now? Thank you, Sasha. Um, fixed. Okay. Yeah, that's been like that the entire time. No one said anything. Sorry, just had to pick out the giveaway knife for you guys because this one's nice. It's actually really nice. Um, this guy is in 20 CV, titanium frame lock. I know you guys can't see it yet. But because we've been chilling, let's hit 100 likes, 11 more likes. And we're doing this guy. There we go. Damn, this thing needs to get broken in. But it is the Kaiser October. The Doc October in 20 CV. Tie clip has this crazy milling pattern. I said I would give it away in a short, so. <clears throat> this knife, I think, is like normally 180 bucks. Maybe 200. Let's see. You guys have been really patient with me tonight, so I really appreciate it. Oh, we only need two more likes. <laughs> that was quick. Damn, what are you guys doing? Um, let's see. October. And let's see. Titanium. October, right here. Here it is. Oh, it's 175 bucks. And we're at 100. That was quick. 
It sounds really good too. You can just tiny flick it. This is brand new. So um let's give it let's give it five-ish more minutes. Share this this live stream. And I think we might do this a little bit different. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Let me see. Uh do, 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 do. Okay, we're gonna go raid our boy. We're gonna go raid our boy zero. And warning because he's hilarious. I think we might have done him last time too, but it's worth it this video <clears throat> this is how the giveaway works there's only 50 of you guys so i'm guessing 20 of you are afk so you're gonna go to this video i'm gonna post it replace you're gonna go to this video go in the comment section and type in i'm here from everyday minimalist or uh minimalist squad or minimalist club whatever you want to put as long as it has the word minimalist in it i'll be able to search it and you got to make sure that you guys like and sub to zero style close to a 200 dollars knife look at that pivot collar anyone and everyone is eligible for this one because you guys have been sitting with me for close to two and a half hours as we uh polished a knife so i appreciate all of you guys but and yes yep yep you had part <laughs> you had part ways for sure and let's see brad get brucey some don't worry dude we got it we wait until a big one a big one to slap slap bruce in the face with so yeah go to this video type minimalist like the video and sub to zero that's all that's all that's all you need to do there's only 50 of you guys in here i mean that should be pretty easy hands smell like fish oh does this have any negative reactions to your hands flits flits all the box while we're doing that let's check this out i'm gonna i'm gonna dark make everything dark and see if we can make some shit glow because i really want to try this before i go to bed got this for like 20 bucks on Amazon let's see does it do anything oh yeah <laughs> it definitely does that's crazy dude the entire lighter is now glowing Okay, 
so that works well um do we still have the have you guys ever seen a black light with tritium i think it's like a hyper glow now Here, i'm gonna full screen this that's how it reacts and then if i move away the light Cool. Um, do I have any glow patches? Yeah. Boom. Yeah, this thing is strong. Do I have anything else that like glows? Oh, let me pull out that bug out. That is gonna look dope. So the orange G10 or FRN scales from um, Benjamin. Look at this. It's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, I wanted to get this black light just so I can do some like really cool shots. Just look at how reactive that is. Probably do a blade swap on this and then we'll see what's up. But it's 80s glow. Yeah, right? It's just sick. It's like a rave. This is going to be fun to play with. How much range does this thing have? Oh, that's sick. I'm just like going around everything. <laughs> you guys should get one of these just for fun. I mean, like there's just a ton of LEDs built into it. It says uh, hot caution. Cool. Okay, turning back on the studio lights. We're gonna draw, we're gonna draw. Uh, hang on. late okay oh my god that ammonia like literally screwed this up actually let's check that is it doing anything huh interesting definitely reacting it is definitely reacting which is pretty sweet okay. seven comments warning zero style is known to cause gas or 40 comments yeah there's like 30 of you entering into this okay last call go to this video Type in something about minimalist, like hear from everyday minimalist or whatever you want. Um, just do it for a chance to win this. Just do it now. Don't spam it because they're going to like literally ban you off of that. I guess comment section. So. Am I leaving it overnight? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's reacting, but it doesn't look like the same as copper. Um, it looks more dark. I'll, I'll post an update picture. So if you guys want to see that update picture, just go to Instagram. If you're already following me there, make an Instagram if you don't have one and follow me because I do knife sales and a bunch of other stuff on Instagram. So, and we're only like a hundred away from 20 K. So no minimalist. I mean, it's not cap sensitive.
This one sounds so good. Listen to that. I might, I might send out the black one. <laughs> Depending on which one sounds better. This one just sounds really good. Stacy in the house. Let me grab the black one too. Here's the black variant. The black one has a darker titanium. Yeah. Okay. Um, one last call. What? Okay. This is seriously the last time. Make sure that you guys go to this video right here. It's the pinned comment. Type in minimalist or hear from everyday minimalist in the comment section. This is for the giveaway on one of these knives. I will choose which one that I sent to you guys. I'm probably going to send this one, but um, go there. Give him a like, throw him a sub. Uh, he has some really good pocket dump content. So, I mean, it's going to be worth it. You guys got two minutes, 930 and I'm cutting it. Smalls, nope, that is sent in from House of Blades. I really want to keep it because that knife is pretty dope. <laughs> Happy haptics. You know what you're getting for Christmas this year? Pouches, my Sony gem, everything will be pouches. Nice. Zero is the homie. Exactly, Dash, for sure. Stacy, you're doing better. Awesome. That's great to hear. The recovery is good. Jay, is it a bad joke? <laughs> yeah, one minute. Here we go. One minute. Damn, that knife sounds at least. These knives sound so good. Propulsive Motorsports. Can you get me a Scorpio design shapeshifter for Christmas? I have no idea what that is, dude. I thought you wanted an Exo. That's what it sounds like. This knife sounds like my notification. It just does. Okay, 930. All right, let's take this. Um, there's a knife. Boom. I hope you're here. I hope you are here. Let's do this. Uh, boom. And one, boom. You got 52 comments. Those odds are really good for you. Okay. Are you guys ready? Everyone in the chat, say here, throw this video a like. Once I see like five people saying here, I'm going to go ahead and just hit start. So. If you are the winner, make sure that you guys go ahead and um, basically message me on IG. Okay, everyone's here. Message me on IG, every dot day dot minimalist. Here we go. Diego Rodriguez. And he just said sent by EDC minimalist. There you go, dude. Are you here? Are, are you here, bro? You gotta say here. I, I hope he's here. Um, Diego. Diego. Um, other people are saying here, but I need Diego too. 
I seriously, we're not redrawing this one. So, well, I, I mean, I will redraw it, but Diego, dude. Oh, rip. I don't think he's here. I don't think he's here. Okay. Let's give it five seconds. Five, four, three, two. Oh, there he is. Holy shit. That was close, dude. Diego, my man. My man. That was, I almost hit. Pick another winner. You literally were down to the second, bro. We're going to give away another really badass knife really soon here because the holidays are coming around and I want to give you guys a lot of gifts, presents, if you will. There'll be more heats. I, I promise you. And it's going to, it's going to step up 500 K's on, on its way. Whoa. Sweet. You guys, it's just, I'm, I'm already getting sponsors set up for the 500 K. It's going to be mind blowing. Like if you guys thought my other giveaways, like my 200 K was pretty crazy. You thought that was crazy. You just wait. You just wait. I'm going to try to see if we can find a sponsor. Hook it up with this. Hit up Brian Winters. See if we can get us a factor. Maybe, maybe. That'd be asking a lot for him, but I'm going to see if he wants to sponsor it. And maybe an Arius. Oh, bro, if I could get a factor, an Arius, if I could track down a Zod, I mean, like all that, and then maybe stack on an Anthem. Bro, imagine if I gave away all four of those knives in one sweep. I'm going to try for you guys. I'm going to try really hard for you guys to get that done because we, uh, that 500, half a million people, it's a lot. That's a lot of people. So we'll see. Um, congratulations, Diego. Make sure that you message me on Instagram. Take a screenshot of your YouTube profile. So what you're going to do is basically pull up YouTube on your phone or your desktop and you just click on the top corner here right there screenshot that send it to me hopefully you're 18 plus but or have someone that's 18 or older that can approve it and we're good to go i hope you guys had a good night i am beat two and a half hour long stream we haven't done that in forever but yeah like i haven't done that in forever forever so you guys thank you so much once again we're at 122 likes and i guess well there's 70 of you guys again but go join the discord if you guys don't know how to find the discord just go to the description of this video you should be able to find that you guys can hang out in there aside from that i guess we'll catch you on the next one